Today, we are going to rework the Monopoly board. And I'm sure you all agree, the Monopoly board seems to be designed by someone not from London. So Old Kent Road is the only South London property, Mayfair is a whole area of London, and Marlborough Street isn't even a real street. What we're going to do today is come up with a few properties that fit within these three rules. Rule number one, properties should be easy to remember streets, roads, or places. So starting off with something to replace Old Kent Road, somewhere has to be first. We're off to Camden. Monington Crescent is a northern line station in Camden. Named after the nearby street, the station opened in June 22nd, 1907. Euston Road is a road that runs from Marlebone all the way to King's Cross. It is named after Euston Hall, a historical home for the Dukes of Grafton, who had become the major property owners in the area during the 19th century. These have been changed from dark orange to silver for the Jubilee Line. For the north, we have the stunning King's Cross Station. Pensonville Road is part of the London Road that runs from King's Cross all the way to City Road via the Angel Lexington. It's also part of the London Congestion Zone, which covers central London. The road is part of the London Inner Ring Road and part of the boundary for the London Congestion Zone. This brings us to rule number two. For this reimagining, it has to be within the congestion zone or walking distance. As most of the originals were already in, this tidies up the route greatly. The Angel Islington is a historic landmark and has a series of buildings that have stood on this corner. The current structure was completed in 1903 and was known as the Angel Hotel. The corner site gave its name to this Angel Tube Station in 1901. City Road is the eastern part of London's first bypass. The road goes from Paddington to Islington. It was built in 1761. City Road is said to be mentioned in an additional verse of the nursery rhyme, Pop Goes the Weasel. This was mentioned in 1856. Up and down the city road, in and out the eagles, that's the way the money goes. Hoxton Square is a garden square located in Shoreditch, which is in the London borough of Hackney. Space was cleared in 1683, it could be one of the oldest in London. Shoreditch High Street. It was once part of the Roman road that started all the way in central London and went all the way to York. Recent openings of some trendy bars that catered to affluent residents of the nearby Hoxton indicate the arrival of gentrification in the area. Commercial Street runs from Shoreditch High Street to Whitechapel. As the name implies, Commercial Street has historically been industrial and commercial. The street was heavily dominated by the activities in Spitalfields, wholesale fruit and vegetable market. For the east, we've got Liverpool Street Station. Whitechapel Road has been kept in, but it's been moved, as it is no longer cheap. The average house price around here now costs 1.1 million pounds. For the orange, we've changed the purple for the Elizabeth Line. With an average home price of 1.3 million, you have reached the midpoint on the board. Was once home to the site of the Royal Mint, had a subway crossing for the River Thames, used to be a site of public execution, and of course, home to the Tower of London. Fun fact, Tower of London has a pub, private residence for the Yeo Men warders and their families. Now onto our first property, South River River, Tower Bridge. While this river crossing includes some of the oldest parts of London, not forgetting the HMS Belfast battleship, which is now a museum. We can't go south of the river, right down to Jamaica Road. Once called New Road, its name comes from the trade that it was carried on with Jamaica at the nearby dock. We had Old Kemp Road, it's time for a change, onto a replacement, New Kemp Road. Yes, this is a real road. We have a lot of new buildings leading to Elephant and Castle. This is not the cheapest place to live in London. To another popular place, Waterloo Road. No real connections to the school on TV. This historic road leads to Waterloo Station and it's a main London road. For the south, we have a slight change in Waterloo Station. Embankment has a tube station. Here, a few gardens, a Northumberland Avenue, a castle and a police headquarters. Plus, it's not too far from Leicester Square. Whitehall is a road and area in the city of Westminster, home to the UK government, the Ministry of Defence, Force Guards and the Cabinet Office. The Palace of Whitehall previously occupied the area and was the residence of King Henry VIII through to William III before it was destroyed by fire in 1698. The street's name is derived from the Italian Palamaglio ball game, a variant of which that was played there during the 17th century. Piccadilly, one of the widest and straightest streets in London. 
Around 1611, Robert Baker acquired land in the area and prospered by making and selling Piccadills, a large broad collar. This unassuming road, just behind Buckingham Palace, is the entrance to some of London's most secret and hidden properties. With an average property value of three million pounds, we are truly in the end game for price. Named after Eaton Hall in Cheshire, the first block was laid out by Thomas Cubitt in 1827. In 2016, it was named as the most expensive place to buy property in Britain, with a full terraced house costing on average 15 million pounds. For the West, we have busy Victoria Station. Rose the Crescent has an average house price of 17 million and is a short walk from Buckingham Palace. It's also home to the Embassy of Belgium. Most of the houses here are grade two listed. Park Lane is being kept in but moved up. While Mayfair might be more expensive, it is just that whole area of London. Flats on Park Lane have sold for as much as five million pounds. They get to overlook Hyde Park and easy access to central London. So this brings us to rule number three, full circle. As you play the game and go around the board, so have we gone full circle around London. So let us know what property tech you most enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you want to, and I'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye!